Hey Fire Science and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading, but we're doing it for the whole weekend here. So this will be for January 4th through the 6th, 2019. I hope you guys had a beautiful new year. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So the first row will be Aries, the second row will be Leo, third row will be Sagittarius. Let's see what our angels have for us today. So our angels, what else do you have for our fire signs? First row, Aries, for the weekend and love. What do they need to know? What do they get to know? Um, I have been sick for this last four or five days. So um, if you ordered from me, you will be getting your readings either today or tomorrow yet. They are currently um, in the uploading process. And then you will receive them. I do apologize for the delay, but I didn't get out of bed for four days straight. It was horrible. All right, Aries, you guys have the Queen of Wands, the Temperance, Six of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Leo, you guys have the Three of Wands, the Princess of Swords. The Eight of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Leos, it looks like you're stuck in your head a little bit. Letting your thoughts get the best of you. All right, Sagittarius. What do our Saggies have? All right, you guys have the Hierophant in reverse, the Prince of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Cups in the reverse. All right, I will get... Whoa. One more for Aries. One more for Leo. To equal out the energy here. And or Leo, you guys had the Ten of Wands in reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Moon. Clarified by the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Oh, good Lord, this is ugly. <laughs> Sorry, but... Whew. All right. Secrets, deception, and all things done in the dark. Um, somebody was deceiving you. Somebody was sharing their energy with somebody else. And this is ultimately betraying you, stabbing you in the back, leaving you feeling dead inside, leaving you feeling like you just don't even want to get up. This was uh, some... Third party energy, possibly cheating, um, could have been like a fling, but um, investing in somebody else other than just the two of you in your relationship. And it is ending. This cycle is coming to a close. Um, you are getting out of this uh, deception, getting out of this energy where things were hidden from you. You were hidden um, for some of you. Yeah, you were hidden. You were the third party um, sharing energy with somebody who already had a partner and they are um, leaving and that could have been uh, devastating news to you as well. All right, so I'm going to move uh, Leo and Sagittarius out of the way so we can pull Aries down here and see what you got. So Aries, you have the Queen of Wands, Temperance, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, you guys are actually looking pretty damn good. Uh, you guys are, uh, you got, a, you just got a, a vibration about you that attracts people. You're, uh, uh, for a lot of you, you're very confident. You um, exude your, uh, your confidence and it just makes you very appealing to the opposite sex. Um, you are uh, attractive. You are, you just know that you uh, got it going on is pretty much <laughs> what I'm trying to say. And you look great. You should have that confidence. You should be assured within yourself because you, you know, you got what people want and people are coming towards you. You have worked very hard to get to this point, to this vibration. You have took the time that you needed to, to work on yourself, to heal yourself, to um, heal those wounds from whoever uh, stabbed you in the back and left you for dead. You have taken the time to, to allow those emotions to run their course, to uh, heal within yourself, 
and to um, really focus on your spiritual center is what I'm getting. This uh, this has to do with a twin flame, a soulmate energy, because Archangel Michael is here blessing the the union of the two cups. Um, but just getting your emotions in balance. Uh, you while in this time of healing, you did um, you have become a very uh, grounded. Uh, you just look great. You you really took the time and you it is showing. Um, you, however, are moving away from a situation that has caused you a lot of emotional um, heartache. You are you have come far too you have come way too far to continue to be in this energy of uh, of being hurt, of being let down, of thinking something was gonna happen and then it doesn't come in. Um, you are leaving this energy behind because you don't want to be hurt again. And you know there's secrets. You know there's a sharing of energy. You know that they are not being true to you. They're not being good to you. And you're moving away from this emotionally um, damaging situation. So you can remain in that high vibration. You're confident that this person is coming back. You're confident that this is your twin flame and that you they will return when the timing is met to be, but you're no longer going to be in this deceitful deception of energy that, that keeps breaking your heart. So you're moving forward. Um, you're no longer wanting to put work into this connection because you put in enough hard work in yourself to become this great person. So you are moving forward, no longer working on this connection and allowing, uh, God to handle the details, giving it up to God and moving forward. And you are going to find this success. You are going to um, find that abundant life that you are so, um, so much desiring. And uh, this is going to uh, bring this twin flame, this soulmate back to you. When you move away from this energy, when you no longer attach yourself to the outcome, this person's going to feel you release. This person's going to feel you disconnect. And it is going to cause them to end cycles within a family that you have been waiting for them to end. They are going to walk away from whatever situation is keeping the two of you apart. Whatever situation is uh, that caused you all this um, heartache between the two of you. So when they feel you detach from this energy, when they feel you move away emotionally, um, you are going to then find um, success. So, uh, yeah, you are going to then um, allow this relationship to come uh, full circle and into fruition where it is meant to, where you have wanted it to be this whole time. I am going to get a clarifying card on the moon just out of curiosity for you, Aries. What is the moon here? What is the deception here? This person that you are waiting on also has a lot of fear. Um, yeah, the deception is that you we're going to get this new beginning that this emotional, um, beginning was going to happen for you, but, uh, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen because it's going to, but this is these, this deception caused you a lot of tears. You're just emotionally spent. So you are no longer sticking around for the, uh, for the heartache and you are moving forward. Um, you, this, these secrets, this deception is what caused you to cry all the tears that you had left to cry. And now you are gaining the strength to move forward and, um, and out of that energy. Uh, this, the bottom of the deck could also be your partner that you were waiting on. You were the secret. Um, and, uh, they were in need to find their balance, but they had a lot of fear. They had a lot of fear of no longer, um, investing in this other person and, um, they're feeling betrayed now that you're moving on. But, uh, the message here is to move on, move forward. And that is when they will disconnect from that third party energy. Why is temperance here for our Aries? Oh. All right. So bottom of the deck again, temperance, beautiful, be patient. Your time is coming. Move away from this relationship, move away from this energy, put yourself in the hanged man, allow yourself to finish healing and good fortune, good luck. And what you have hoped for is coming your way. Like I said, you're confident that if you give this up to God, they're coming back for you anyways. 
with the Wheel of Fortune, that does um, seem to be the way it will go for this group of you. All right, Aries, that's a beautiful reading for you guys. Let's move on to Leo. Leo, you had the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Princess of Swords. So... You guys uh, are needing to let a karmic cycle um, run its course and and end here. You are trying to manifest. You are waiting for somebody to return. You're you're at a distance from somebody. Um, you guys are not currently together, but uh, yeah, you do keep close eye on this person. You do like check up on, on their social media. They are keeping a close eye on you as well. But you're trying to manifest this relationship. Let's see what this choice is about. What is this two of swords for for Leo? Wow. Ace of cups in reverse as well. So you're emotionally drained as well. There's no tears left to cry. You've turned a blind eye to this deception. Um, you know, this, the secrets that your partner was keeping, but you're just to the point where you're no longer even, um, sure if you want to continue with this. You have a choice. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I continue to turn a blind eye to um, them not giving me what I deserve, what I know I need to be happy in a relationship? Or do I continue to be in this connection that is just emotionally draining me um, just for the uh, sheer fact to be in this relationship? You're scared to let go of this person because you're scared they won't return. Um, but you are able to manifest this relationship into uh, a commitment. Um, there's got to be some truth spoken first. They're being very immature about the truth. They could be, um, not, uh, speaking to you or when you ask them a question, they avoid the question. That's because they know that if they answered honestly and truthfully, that it would hurt you. And they're scared that you then would leave, um, and leave them, uh, behind. Oh, so like I was saying, you're very, uh, you're very trapped within your own thoughts. This is a lot of thoughts. You don't know what to do. Uh, but you, uh, you feel like you're trapped because you're scared to let go. You're scared if you let go and lay the burden down of this relationship, allow this cycle to end that this person will be lost forever. But that is not the case. The cycle needs to come to an end. You're in a karmic cycle. Um, it needs to end so you guys can start a new beginning just because you let a cycle end doesn't mean the relationship ends. It just means that that lesson that the two of you, um, were learning together which is also in Twin Flames and Soulmates. Just because you have karmic lessons doesn't mean you're with a karmic partner. So um, it need, this needs to end. The, it needs to, this deception and sharing of energy needs to come to an, a, a close. Allow that cycle to end. Allow that chapter to be closed. And then it will in turn cause them to release the shared energy. Um, when you walk away and do your own work, um, you can then manifest this relationship back together. The two of you will then move closer emotionally and physically, and um, the truth will be spoken. Uh, you need to make the choice to walk away from the relationship that is not uh, bringing you emotional happiness. There's far too many tears cried for you to be happy. Um, this is not what you want. So in order for you to get the relationship out of this person that you want or get a relationship with somebody new, you have to get out of your thoughts and allow um, yourself to bring down the tower. Walk up those steps, lay the burden down, and let the tower fall. And that's when the two of you can rebuild on a relationship that is solid. Um, rebuild something that is from the ground up and built properly so you can both um, be in a healthy relationship together. Yeah. Yeah. You need to walk away from the conflict. You need to uh, uh, walk away and no longer be an option to their choices. If they don't, if you remove yourself as, because this is, you know, outside competition. If you walk away and do not allow this person to have you as a choice, if you remove yourself from the competition, this person will realize that you walked away and they will eliminate all other competition and come forward and make you an offer of love, make you something, make you an offer of something tangible, something you can hold on to 
and it will bring emotional satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, but you have to walk away from this deceitful uh, three, third party energy because they will forever stay in that third party if you don't walk away and make a move. If you don't make them uh, come after you, if you just always allow yourself to be available, they will always, uh, they will keep that third party energy. It's calling for you to walk away. All right, Sagittarius, you as well. You have the Hierophant, the Prince of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man and the Five of Cups. Uh, Sagittarius, this looks amazing for you guys. Bottom of the deck, before I even shuffled, is the Five of Cups in reverse as well. Um, you were a secret uh, of somebody's. They were keeping secrets from you about uh, them sharing their energy with somebody else. They had made you promises. They broke those promises and you are feeling just heartbroken. You feel like they betrayed you. Uh, they promised you would no longer be a secret. They promised that uh, you, the two of you would be together, but they continued to uh, invest in somebody else as well. And you're finding out about this and it's just breaking your heart. It is in the upright. So you guys are walking away and allowing that to end, allowing it to no longer bother you. Um, you are breaking free from this uh, energy that you thought was going to turn into a marriage, turn into a long-term commitment. Um, they weren't telling you the truth. They were lying through their teeth um, and they're not coming forward to speak the truth. They're having a hard time admitting uh, how they deceived you. They also have a lot of fear um, and they are also feeling betrayed by you for some reason. Uh, but they're not coming forward and speaking the truth. So you are walking away. You are um, going to continue or uh, decide to be single, to invest in yourself, to take the time to um, to better yourself. You could be going for, um, you know, doing something as far as your education, learning a new class, learning a new hobby. Um, but whatever it is, you're no longer investing in this situation that that at one point in time you thought was going to be a long-term commitment. And now you're just not seeing the that going in that direction. Why is the hair fit here in reverse? Why is the hair fit here in reverse? Four Sagis. Thank you. Yeah, it's just uh, there is a delay. This relationship could be... Uh, come back into fruition. Uh, this is, could be a soulmate twin flame relationship that the two of you are separated. And right now you feel like it, it was going to be a commitment, but the commitment is being held off. There's a delay. There's a delay with something, um, that's keeping this relationship from coming into a commitment. Uh, yeah, there's something that this person has to complete with another relationship with whoever else they're sharing their energy with. They have to complete that before this wheel will turn in the upright. It's not bad luck. It's just a delay in time. Um, this relationship can't come together right now. It's just not in the cards. Uh, it's There's something that has to be taken care of before that can go turn into a commitment. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or they could be. It, something needs to finish up with a Taurus. Um, but it doesn't have to be. I see all signs here. So any element. But... As soon as that delay is over, then that this has the possibility of turning into a commitment if you so choose. Um, why is it, or why is it hanging in here? You are putting yourself in a time of wait. This is also delay, but you're putting yourself in delay. You are taking a step back. You are walking away and disconnecting from this relationship, this uh, whatever it is, this third party situation. You are putting yourself in the hanged man. Um, because you're trying to figure shit out. This person has confused you beyond belief. This person has made you promises, broke those promises. Um, they, You thought something was going to happen and it didn't because of this delay. So now you are deciding to walk away from the relationship, to be single, to focus on yourself and try to figure out what in the hell is going on and where do you go from here. You're putting yourself in this hanged man to be enlightened. You're asking source for help. You're asking your angels for direction. You are trying to figure out what is going on because you thought this person was going to offer you the world and instead you got stabbed in the back. You feel deceived. 
Why is the hangman here for Sagittarius this weekend? All right, yep, you're trying to figure out why this didn't, um, why this relationship did not come into a commitment. You swore this was your twin flame. You knew it from the beginning, and it is for this group of you, but you're trying to figure out what happened because this person promised you a commitment, a lifetime together, and now you are here without a commitment, here without, some of you could have planned to get a home together, and now all of a sudden you're not. Um, but you're just taking a step back to figure out why did this relationship not happen with my soulmate the way they promised. Um, and you're going to be enlightened to that. It is not anything to do with you. This has something to do with your person and who they're dealing with um, and dealing with their fear. They have a lot of fear of moving forward. But um, you're coming out of this heartbreak. You were depressed about this connection for a long time. You were depressed about this news. Um, bottom of your deck, six of pentacles again. So, um, you are realizing that you don't need their cup in order to be balanced, in order to be happy, in order to be able to, uh, you know, uh, handle life on your own, on your own terms. Uh, but you are, uh, no longer waiting for them to fill that, that cup. You're just going to move forward. You're going to find balance in your own life, figure your own stuff out. And in that time, you will be enlightened to what happened. You will be healed as well. You're finding self-healing um, in this time of hanged man. Um, and you're walking away and you're no longer feeling the sadness. You're going to invest in yourself. And it's only going to better. This is for the best, Sagittarius. It really is. Because um, when this delay is over um, and they come back to you and offer you this commitment and this home and this marriage, um, you will be at such a high vibration that you will be attracting all sorts of positive um, opportunities. And so you walking away and focusing on yourself and your healing and getting over this depression, finding balance again, that is the best thing for you because you are going to have so many doors open, not just in love, but in life, just so many doors open. Yeah, when you remove yourself from being uh, a member of the competition as well. Um, this person is intentionally keeping things foggy for you so you stay and wait for them. They're afraid to lose you if you walk away. But um, it's calling for you to walk away, to focus on yourself, to work on yourself, and to raise your vibration. Um, and many, many opportunities will come your way. And really, that's the message for all three of you fire signs. Um, walk away and from this third-party situation, from this deception. And that is what it's going to take to get them to walk away from the third party. Because otherwise, they're going to continuously stay in this uh, uh, energy where they're splitting their time between the two of you. All right. Aries, you guys got codependency. Affections are addicting your romantic life. Um, this could be they are codependent on somebody, um, and that's why they haven't left yet. Um, there could be drugs and alcohol involved as well, but um, break free from that codependent, that toxic energy. Break free from their toxic energy and move forward and focus on yourself because you guys are looking great. Um, you are healing. You are moving forward, and it is going to in turn help them break free from their codependent partner. Leo's you guys have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Focus on your finances, get yourself, uh, back to stable, get yourself, uh, your finances in order. Some of you are looking for your soul's purpose. Um, once you, uh, get your finances in order, then it will, uh, be able to allow your partner to come towards you quicker also, your partner is dealing with financial issues, and that's why they're scared to leave that third party. So um, they need to get their finances in order in order for them to move forward to you, forward toward you. And Sagittarius, yes, this is your soulmate. So yes, the person will be back. They made you those promises. They will fulfill those promises at one point um, down the road. But for right now, it's encouraging you to walk away to raise your own vibration and have no fear because your soulmate will return to you. They will come back because that is who you are dealing with. 
is a soulmate. So, all right, fire signs. I hope you have a great weekend. Be strong. Have the courage to stand up for yourself for what you know you deserve in a relationship. And if they're not giving it to you, walk away. And um, if they return, they uh, they will have what they can offer you. And if they don't return, then it wasn't meant to be anyways. But I do see all three of these groups were soulmates when flame connections. So um, have no fear. Just move forward and focus on yourself and they will be back. All right, guys, have a beautiful weekend. I send you love, light, and God bless.